Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Elaine. I'm the owner of what? LBE. Okay, y'all, so I'm back with another video. Um, this is re in regards to some raffle baskets um, that I was asked to put together. Um, now, with it, within the budget, um, I'm only able to put one game in each basket, which is perfectly fine because you know you, you know your girl LBE finna work up magic. Um, but anyway, so I decided to use these Dollar Tree coolers. Um, because of the size of them, it allows me to be able to make this basket very, very full or make, make it look very, very full without having to go over my customer's budget. Um, at the end of the day, I'm still in business to make a decent profit and to run a successful business. But at the same time, I want to give my customers um, the feel of excitement every time they receive a basket from me. So whether it be, you know, whatever they budget may be, I want the basket to basket to always look above and beyond what they pay, actually paid. That is my goal because that allows me to tap into my creativity, to dig deep, to see exactly what I can pull off with all types of budgets. And if I'm able to do that, the sky's the limit at this point um, when it comes to running my my business successfully. So, anywho, I decided to um, go to by five and below and pick up some games. Y'all, that is the most reasonable place I could think of to actually pick up some type of games um, to go in the baskets. Um, whenever you have any type of game, snack baskets, type theme baskets, whatever. If you have a five and below in your area or something similar to it, I advise you to utilize them for your games. Um, now, you can always find some at a reasonable price at Walmart and places like that, but five and below is the way to go for me. Um, but anywho... Uh, another thing I can tell you about, if you have multiple snack baskets, um, try to buy your snacks in bulk. Um, like, you know, if you, even if you're in Walmart, Sam's, Costco's, whatever, get you a bulk size amount of snacks. Stick to um, the same snacks, especially if it's going to the same customer. And then, you know, you can just switch it up with like if you want, if you're adding candy or something to it, you can switch up the candy or whatever if you want to. But other than that, keep the baskets pretty much the same but just you know swap it out with like a different game or you know whatever the the major aspect of the basket is going to be um switch it out and make it different with that but like i said keep the snacks the same that way it's more cost efficient for you because you're buying a box of mixed cookies and you can take those cookies and separate them especially if you have like three different baskets you'll separate them you know by each each cookie or each brand so if you have basically um six packs of oreos in that one uh variety pack you can take two of each and put it in each basket and separate it like so um and that goes for any other snacks that you may buy keep your snacks simple um that way once you you know what i'm saying uh start putting them in the baskets you don't have to worry about so many different things that you have to throw in or not throw in there but add to it um and just make it so hard on yourself. Just keep it simple. Um, and also, um, the way I use or the the way I added these to the basket, I actually taped skewers to the back of them. Um, the barbecue skewers that you can get for like nine eight cents at Walmart. Um, I taped a skewer to each back, and I just basically um, pushed it down into the paper at the bottom of the container. I did not add foam or anything like that to these um, because I want the recipient to actually be able to use the cooler that I added at the you know that I'm putting the, the items in so therefore I didn't want um the foam and stuff to, you know the residue from the foam and stuff to be at the bottom um also there's enough paper in there to where the skewers are not touching I also cut the skewers down to where they won't be so extremely long um when they go inside of the paper um, and then basically, like I said, I just added all the items in there. Now, like as far as the crackers go, I basically just um, set them in where I wanted them to be and just added a couple glue dots um, to those because I really didn't want to put the skewers on the back of those because when they go to try to take them off, they might, you know, break all the cookies or all the crackers um, inside of the package. So I kind of wanted to keep that, um, you know, less of a hassle to try to get the skewers off with the tape. Um, but as far as everything else, I mean, the cookies come in a little container in the inside, like a little cardboard, so they'll be okay. Um, and then also with these baskets, um, by by them being a festive theme and the inexpensive um, 
um, baskets, you also want to make them stand out a little bit more um, according to like the themes and stuff like that. So by these being raffle baskets um, for a uh, organization, I decided to pull out my Cricut machine. This is one of the reasons why I have my Cricut machine, y'all, is to basically enhance each and every basket um, that I can if need be. Um, and like I said, I wanted to make these look very, very festive. So, of course, I took the games out of the box um, and I used the, the checkers box as the backer or, or the back for the basket to make sure everything stands up straight and, and you know, um, in a in an upper position so everything doesn't fall over and stuff like that. And then, of course, I took the checkerboard out and then I have the checkers that came in a little bag. I'm going to add those to the front of the basket and then I'm going to take my Cricut machine and just print off like... Um, a few words and then I, and then I'm going to use um just print off some circles to make it look like they're checker chips or whatever and I'm going to enhance the front of this cooler um to blend in with the rest of the basket and keep it, you know, keep the theme flowing. So, um other than that, um I'm basically now just securing everything to make sure everything is stuck together really nice. Um, so nothing goes wobbling all over the place. And yes, these are going to be wrapped with regular cellophane. And then um, we're going to add a bow to them. And on the way, they should go. So <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all at the end. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, I have the checkers taped down to the front of the um, cooler. Um, and then now I'm just going to go in and add my little phrase that I printed off, which was checkers party. Um, and I'm using my Cricut machine or I use my Cricut machine, sorry, um, to just print these off. Now, I don't really know the font, y'all. Like, I just figure out the, the Cricut machine has so many different fonts and, and different styles or whatever. You just figure out whatever works for your basket that you are in, going to enhance and create and uh, decorate and just roll with it, y'all. It's not, not, it's not rocket science. <laughs> it's not hard. Just, you know, just find you whatever you like to, to, to use and go with it. Because um, the thing about the Cricut machine, they switch up so much. So you never know. You might not even find that font on there anymore. Um... And then some of the fonts actually stay the same. So I honestly don't know. I'm just going to be honest because I know y'all. somebody's going to ask me what font that is. I have no idea. <laughs> A fun and festive one. That's all I can tell you. Um, sorry I'm not as helpful as I should be um, when it comes to the cricket. I just, I don't think about all that, y'all. I just find whatever works. I print it off and then I erase it and go and turn my, my cricket machine off. I don't even remember the fonts and stuff like that. Um... But I did just print off regular circles. Um, you can size the circles on the Cricut machine by whatever size. You make them bigger, make them smaller. Um, and I just print off like different sizes just to make this basket stand out just a little bit more. Um, and then I'm just adding the little circles all around as if they are poker chips um, and making the front of the basket look festive. So um, that's basically how I did it um, with the Cricut machine. I know I'm not a big help. I apologize. But yeah, I just print it off and then I cut the machine off. <laughs> I got going by my business. I don't pay no attention to the rest of it. <laughs> but anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this, the rest of this video. And I appreciate you so much for watching. Go ahead and while you continue to watch, hit the like button. Comment, share. It never hurts. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.